Most Pro Video Player 2 users will only need a single computer to run their single or multi-screen setups. But sometimes projects get so complex that one machine can't deliver the amount of outputs you need. So with Pro Video Player 2, you can now network multiple machines together to deliver synchronized playback across multiple computers. Now to show how networking works, we actually have two different computers connected here that you'll see on your screen. On our main computer, I'm going to go to the network button, and you'll see a couple different options here. We have an option for the name of our computer, a port, and then also whether or not we want to be a master or a slave. Now you don't need to worry about port configuration. This will automatically configure, but if you do need to make manual changes, that's where you can do so. Now we want to set this main computer as our master. Then I'm going to come over to our secondary computer. I'm going to go to the network button and on here I'm going to set this to slave. Now you can see our connection quality shows up and if we go back to our main machine you can see it says we have our secondary MacBook Pro connected. We can also tell this machine to auto connect which will automatically reconnect the slave computer when it restarts. We can also tell it to accept slides which allows the slave to accept a text stream being sent by ProPresenter. And we can disconnect to any slave here as well. And if we have more than one slave machine, we'll see it listed below. Now one thing to note is we're currently working over a Wi-Fi network, but a wired network is recommended. Also, you can only connect a master to a slave computer. You can't connect a master to a master or slave to slave. But you can connect multiple slave computers to a master. Now the next thing that you'll notice is that we have new tabs in our interface. We have a tab for our master machine as well as our secondary MacBook Pro. This allows us to control all the features of a slave machine without ever looking at its screen or physically accessing it. So you can see on our master machine that we have a custom playlist and a couple different layers. Whereas our secondary machine, we just have the default layer and no custom playlist. Now we can play back content to our secondary machine by clicking on some content. You'll notice that it plays back and we can clear that out on our secondary or our slave machine. Now if we go to our master machine and we play back this first clip in the library, it's also going to play back the first clip in the library of the secondary machine. So on our master machine I'm going to hit play and you'll see it play back on both machines. Now I can also go to my secondary machine and I can reorder this content. So I'm going to drag this and reorder the content and you saw it change there on our secondary machine. Now when I go to our master machine and hit that first clip, it's actually going to play back this tunnel space clip here, and on our master machine it's going to play back this blue clip. This is because the master machine is triggering the clip in the same playlist and position on each of the slave machines. So in this example, it's playing back the first item in the first playlist. Not only can we rearrange content and alter playlists, but we can actually rearrange outputs and targets and all of the different settings that we have accessible. So on our master machine, if we hit edit here, you'll notice that our output arrangement has a couple different outputs and a couple different uh, layers here. Now if we go to our secondary machine and look at our same output arrangement, you'll notice we only have one output and one layer. Now one of the most exciting features is we actually can clone our master machine to all of our slave machines. Meaning we can set up an entire uh, very complex multi-screen presentation on our master machine, clone it out all of the content, all of our layers and targets and outputs to all of our secondary machines and then attach which screens we want on our master machine or our secondary machine. So let's look at how this works. So on our master machine we're going to go over to network and we're going to go down to clone master to slaves. And you'll notice it's going to start cloning all of the content from our master machine to our slave machine. Now not only is it going to clone all of this content to our slave machine, it's also going to again clone all of those layers, targets, and output arrangements. So let's see what happened. So we'll close this out. So again, our master machine looks the same, but if we switch over to our secondary machine, you saw that we got that custom playlist. We now have that extra layer. And if we go edit our output arrangement, you'll see that we now have that three screen output set up. This makes it quick and easy that from our master computer, we can go in and edit this and say, well, I have two displays attached to this one. So I'm going to attach the left screen here to this display and the right screen to this display. 
And then on our secondary machine, we can quickly and easily go attach the center screen to this one because we only have one screen attached to that computer. And now we're ready to go with our multi-screen, multi-computer setup that we did all from our master computer.